Hello, it's Robert Small Urban Garden UK, and I just wanted to show you inside my cold frame, see how everything's getting on. On the right over here, you can see my cornflowers. They're growing probably the best and fastest, nice and early in the year. Next to that, I've got the shard, which is also doing quite well. Now over here is the cancel blooms from the sort of German trailing daisy I've got, and they're coming out uh, into individual pots quite a difficult one so they're a really small seed the one at the back's got three in uh, we've got three at the front that are doing okay and hopefully that means we'll be able to pop them straight into their final positions when they're ready so that little bit of extra fiddling was worth it I've got two in the Californian poppies growing I don't know if the rest have failed or not we'll have to wait and see I've got two traditional sunflowers big giant ones I've got two morning glories that are just finding their way out. There's one there, I think one in fact as well is coming out. And also three Cosmos Piketty on the left hand side. Now if we go down to the second shelf. I've got more cornflower. growing in the middle. On the right here, I've got Mandela Ocean, which is sort of cut annual flower. I don't know what the English name is for. I've had a look on the internet. I still can't find out. Here I've got some nasturtiums. None of those have germinated yet. It's probably a bit cool for them in the cold frame. And that has been my concern that maybe at this time of year it is a bit cold, but I wanted to give it a go rather than trying to stack everything up inside on my uh, window sills where, to be honest, they don't get enough light. They get a lot of warmth, so they, so they germinate, but then they're chasing for light and end up sort of being too tall and flopping over. And even these cornflowers here on the second shelf, they can, even if you get too much water on, they'll fall over and then they'll grow leggy and not very well. Now, on the left ear, I've planted a bit of an experiment and there's some pine seeds from two large botanical uh, specimens in the local park, like gigantic pine trees. And I collected the seeds last year and kept them in the fridge wrapped in foil. I've got no idea if they're going to germinate. Apparently it's not that easy to grow pine tree seeds anyway, but I've tried sort of cold shocking them for a year, making them think they're deep under the ground in the dark, and then hopefully the light and the sun might spring them into action. If I can get one of either of those to grow, I'll be absolutely thrilled, and I'll probably try and grow it as bonsai. And I've got more Cosmos Piketty. I've got thyme, which is starting to germinate. So all is looking good on there. Now, on the bottom shelf, down there, there's not a lot to see. We've got, on the right, my Mina Labata. None of those have germinated yet, and I do suspect it is too cold out here for them. So I might move some of them inside and see if I get germination. It's the same story with my casters up on the top. They have not germinated, and I would definitely think move those inside. Try and just start them off, kick them out of the soil get them going and then uh, bring them back out into the cold frame and on the left bottom shelf what I've just planted up recently a sunflower black magic and my scabious tall diddle mix hope you like what you see that's my cold frame just about run out of space got some plans to improve space in the garden for propagating seeds for now take care see you later